Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the wet and wild happening in NFT land. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way in. Today's NFT that I'm going to be talking about, it's an anime, it's a game, it's merchandise. What else are they trying to do? It's a PFP project. It's everything under the sun, including some of the sun as well. So this is Hikari. Obviously, you can tell from the title, this project, it's trying to do a lot of ambitious stuff. But I think, you know, it is possible for what uh, what they're trying to do. They do have some pretty good partnerships lined up. And I'd like to see this project kind of come out full swing and really accomplish what they're trying to do. They have these four clans. So the big thing about this is that on top of the anime and the merch, they are releasing a MOBA game right so a multi online battle arena game they have the lore around this without getting too bogged down into it they have these four clans the celestial clan which is our you know as it says here you know they have a simple mission which is to purge the galaxy of evil they exist in a small groups um and they you know constantly kind of at odds with each other trying to attain prestige and power there's the scorching suns clan this clan is devoted to liberation of the oppressed and protection of the innocent you have these big titty tempest clans they all come with big titties and they worship the old gods those belonging to the tempest clan have retained many of their ancient traditions and then lastly we have what you can call the sasuke's if you know naruto the sasuke's of this world the crescent moon clan they are a bunch of assassins they are contract killers they keep to themselves and a lot of people kind of think they're weirdos or whatever because they don't really know much about them those are always the coolest guys so one of the really cool things that these guys are doing is they have the uh, gen u project or you know part of what they're trying to to create with this nft <laughs> basically what the gen u is is when you mint your hikaru you get a soul as you can see on the screen here and with that soul you're able to use it to personalize your hikaru um i think you can also save the soul and you can use the soul for other things in the future they don't really mention it yet they're kind of keeping that under wraps understandable but currently you can take that soul and it's, I, I suppose you can burn it, um, for lack of a better word, and use that to personalize your Hikari um, NFT. And I really like this idea because it's actually really, really cool. What they do is they essentially put you to a series of, uh, of questions and tests. Like, essentially, you'll be put into a sort of mini game that goes through... Uh, like a personality quiz, a, a little story arc, giving you challenges, ethics, values, and morals. And you have to answer those questions. And depending on how you answer those questions is what your character will come out looking like. So your very actions and decisions in this kind of mini game personality quiz test, what have you, determines the look and feel your character will sort of give off, right? Obviously, when you see a cool character, like we saw the the Sasuke's, the, the Crescent Moon Clan, you can get a feel from them. We saw the Tempest Clan. You get kind of a nature vibe from them. This will also be, this is the same idea. You'll see your character and sort of get a vibe based upon the actions that you've committed throughout that little story arc there, which I think is just a really dope way to, to customize and sort of uniqueify you know make unique your your nft so i think that's really cool again you don't have to use it for that you, they do mention that there will be other things you can use it for but i feel like a lot of people i know i would just jump and probably use it for that just to kind of see what random personality mine creates um i mean you don't even have to like you can do one based upon who you are, but you could create a character that you want to play. And like, that's your character, right? If you are looking for the brooding, you know, Jon Snow character, or you want the happy go lucky, um, you know, Yigrit character, I guess. Is she happy go lucky? I don't know. <laughs> but those are some really cool aspects of this NFT project that I really like. So I want to discuss a little bit about the game I'm probably not going to read this verbatim i'll just kind of jump around i've already read it um and some of the things to to note like so they have a really cool artist um his name is g's um you know very prolific artist. it does some really cool stuff i'll just show some stuff real quick here he's got this merch so he's also running 
kind of their merch idea, their merch line. So you can expect more stuff like this, but probably based around the actual Hikari NFTs as opposed to these, which are based upon um, other animes. And that's some really cool stuff here. If you're, you know, if you're an anime fan, you probably recognize a lot of these. And these are because I do. And I don't even really watch anime that much anymore. So, you know, he's got some really cool art here. And maybe that's what making me a little bit biased toward this. I just think the art that this guy produces is freaking amazing. So I really hope this project does well because I really want to see what comes out of it in the future. So if I, I think I've already said it before, but, you know, essentially the story arc right now is that tensions among the four clans has risen, therefore kind of putting them at odds with each other. And, you know, it's coming to butt heads between the clans for dominance. So essentially what you have is you have five teammates, um, four teams of five, because you got four clans and they all can do battle at once. I, I'm assuming you can also have like a, a two just a one one kind of thing going on there there's probably multiple modes they don't really go too much into it but i'm sure you can do that but essentially what they're what they're looking to have at the most fun is that you have like a big arena and you have four teams um of five players and you know what i mean and then you can do battle you you in the pre-game lobbies when you kind of pick your aspects so you don't you can be like you know, a ranger or, or a support or, or a tank, um, you pick your weapons and all of these are interconnected. So depending on if you're a tank, you, you can't really use like a range stat or range ability, which made sense. Why would you even want that? But they sort of like, I guess, foolproof it there or like, well, you're a tank. You don't need a bow <laughs> kind of idea. So they do a lot of that as well. As you can see, oh, Ranger, Lightweight, which is like your DPS and your tank. Um, apparently there are other combinations that are out there. These are just sort of your standard combinations that are definitely gonna be available for people, but you can mix and match and play around. Um, they say that, um, you know, the list of combinations is, is almost impossibly infinite, seemingly infinite among the possible combination of uh, the team compositions. But to, I mean, there's obviously going to be those that rise to the top. Um, every game always does, but, you know, hopefully they have you know, a lot more variety because that does make things a little bit more fun. You can sort of see the staging arena here, one of the places that you'll probably be doing battle. I think this is the main tower. They mention this a lot, the main shrine in the game. Each, um, each clan will have their shrine and you essentially have to destroy the shrine in order to become victorious or kick that team out go to the next team um you have lanes that you'll be walking down that lead uh to basically uh the the enemies um buildings towers what have you and so while you're traversing those though um you'll be attacked by demons you'll be attacked by the grunts of the other players so each player each clan you know gets a a barracks i believe that produces grunts that will fight for you as well to help you know bother the team get in their way cause damage you know what i mean they'll have to kill those guys and pay attention to you and it's a whole mess of complications but it's fun it sounds fun it sounds like it'd be interesting right kind of a league of legends almost idea i've never played the game what i've seen it seems like league of, league of legends kind of works like this because i think league also has towers this game also has towers that will either support or defend or attack i think i think each one of them always attacks but the first the attacking tower attacks the hardest the second tower the lightweight tower attacks medium but also heals and then the defensive tower attacks a little bit but is mostly there to build up like a barrier or a wall. So they talk about the pre-game selection where which you know your armor, your skills and all that is pre-selected beforehand and will be will change what you can select after that, right? So certain attacks like you can't do slash if you have if you're a ranger and you can't use arrow strike if you're a tanker. Yeah. And then they go through sort of the mini stuff that you got here. Mana, you know, it's kind of the in-game currency it seems like and you can kind of use that to help upgrade your character's abilities and whatnot throughout the the gameplay and then some of the maps and the environments uh the bases the barracks the clans the portals these are all little extra little goodies to help you know again just add more complexity to the game and make it a lot more fun so don't forget there is the anime stuff which you know they haven't uh 
release too much on that because obviously they're probably still working on trying to get partnerships, trying to get people to work on that. That's probably going to be a, a length of a ways away. But the manga should be out, if I'm not mistaken. I did read this somewhere. Um, they, I think it was on their website. But uh, the manga should actually be coming out right after your like within like a cu- a few weeks like a month after the nft has has been uh have has been minted you can pretty much already purchase uh or get you know request the order for your for the anime for the manga to be sent to you and you can already start reading their comic which i think is pretty dope that means i've already been working on it and of course jeez is there keep on to call him jizz Jeez is their artist, so you can expect that it's going to be very like the art alone is going to be pristine quality. Hopefully, everything else in the story arcs around it should as well. Just reading the story, just reading the universe that they have so far, it does look pretty freaking dope. It does look really nice. So yeah, they have a cool universe to work with. Um, so I'm hoping that it uh, delivers, especially for those who get their hands on it. Now, in terms of their team, they have their core team here. I can't really find, uh, you know, much on these people, much of anything. Some of them do have Twitters and whatnot, but it really doesn't connect to anything crazy. They're sort of running with G's here as the main guy behind this. Um, they're also partnered with uh, Spire, if I remember correctly, who is, you know, well known in terms of the 3D gaming development world, which who which is who they're working with to sort of create the whole gaming aspect of this we saw those pictures were actually like you know pictures to show that like hey this is in the process of being made right now obviously it's not done yet but we're getting there um i forget if it mentions anywhere that the game has been how close the game is to being released okay i just went to take a quick look because i know i saw it somewhere that you that yeah eight weeks after mint you can expect the game apparently it will be ready and you can see right here actually while i'm on this page each uh, all the hikari the members will have the opportunity to receive an honorary edition of the community written hikari comic book that will mark the start of our crossover into the physical world so yeah pretty much uh begins work on this to ensure it's completed in timely fashion they'll be shipped out within four weeks post mint so you know, within those first four weeks, they're shipping out the comics. And then four weeks after that, the game should essentially be ready to go. Now, some of this stuff is still subject to change. The game could be delayed for X, Y, Z reasons. And they do say that. And obviously, you know, sometimes things happen. Um, and even the, the comic book might also be delayed. Y- yeah, you know, you don't know. Sometimes these things happen. But if I trust that these guys are, you know, they got their stuff together. They're working with some cool people. They got some cool ideas ahead. And, you know, they, they seem well planned out to get it all done on time, as well as they're working with some development companies that, you know, have been able to create um, similar work to what they're trying to do. Again, I just really like the art around this. And I think the idea behind all this is cool. Obviously, the anime is still something that's you know, waiting in the wings. Um, But if everything else works out perfectly fine, I can't imagine why they wouldn't be able to produce some sort of anime, maybe even in the vein of Ruby um, from Rooster Teeth from back in the day, if you guys know that one. So that would be really cool. Anyways, guys, that's it for this project. You know, it's coming out on the 10th. I don't even know if I mentioned that. I was just so excited to get into this project right away. But it comes out uh, on the 10th and the 11th. That's what you should be looking out to get. If you're not already into it, get into it. (laughs) I know you're a little late to it, but, you know, keep your eye out on it anyways, just in case maybe you missed the public or maybe or maybe you missed the whitelist and you couldn't get on. But doesn't mean there won't be spots open or not spots. Doesn't mean there won't be an opportunity to still get in on a project like this that I really think has a good long. Excuse me. Um has a good road ahead of it and you know i'm hoping the best for this project because this is one of those projects that just looks really cool doing some really cool stuff and i just want to see it succeed which i don't have a lot of projects that i really have a lot of faith in so anyways guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time